Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Will It Run, or Chrono Plays, if you pay attention to the intro video. Today, I was poking around Reddit, and I found a post about somebody finding Diablo 2, the battle chest, still for sale at Walmart. Sitting right beside it was Diablo 3. And it was pretty interesting, so I'm reading through the comments, and somebody mentions that they can't even get Diablo 2 to install on their Windows 10 machine. So that got me really curious. Can Windows 10 run Diablo 2? Now, a little disclaimer before we get started. The greatest advantage to a PC and the greatest disadvantages to a PC is its massive customizability. There are probably millions upon millions of different PC configurations out there. The entire point of this series is to determine if it's physically possible, not necessarily if it will run on your setup. Your results may vary. Now, also, before we begin, a little bit of information on the software I'm using. I am, as you can see, using Windows 10 Professional. This has been updated to the TH2 update, whatever the hell TH2 stands for, I have no idea. So it's updated to its latest and greatest. Uh, in fact, it's actually told me several times I have updates that need to be installed. And then when I go to install them, it says you're completely up to date. So I have no idea what the hell it's talking about there. The Diablo install. This is before the battle chest existed. This is just Diablo 2. It doesn't have the LOD expansion, whatever LOD stands for. It's just Diablo 2. So it's the original three install CDs from Diablo 2. So again, your results may vary. So let's get started. And as with everything that I do when I test out these things, I just jump headlong into it. So first thing I'm going to do is just try it, see what happens. So of course, we've got to do the CD switch around and actually install this. So let's get started. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We get... That horrifying install sound! That sound always scared the shit out of me every single time I tried to install this game. Because it's like the sudden, extremely loud noise. All of a sudden coming out of your computer. It scares the shit out of you. Alright, so... Install Diablo 2. Uh, I don't think I have ever not installed the full game. I mean, it's 1.5 gig. Back when Diablo 2 first came out, that's kind of large. Of course, 650 meg was still kind of large back then. But uh, I always had a nice big honking hard drive. I was kind of always on the bleeding edge. So... I always installed the full install because I don't like CD swapping. And I'm going to continue with that policy here. All right, so CD keys. You remember when DRM involved keys that were put on the CDs and that was it? Yeah, Pepperidge Farms remembers. Of course, you're not going to be able to see the CD key because I am going to blur it out because it's my CD key, not yours. I'd say go buy it on Steam, but it's not on Steam. I actually don't have a clue if you can buy it digitally at all. I have no idea. So I actually keep the CD key on the CD. I peeled it off of the jewel case that it was on and put it on the CD. That way I never lose the key since I have long ago lost the jewel case. So I have to pull the CD out, get the CD key, and do that. So here we go. Okay, so... C, Program Files, x86, Diablo 2. Sounds good to me. Would you like to create a desktop shortcut for Diablo 2? Yeah, sure, why the hell not? Please insert the CD labeled Play Disc. Yay! God only knows why they didn't just, you know, install all the stuff it needed from the install CD before it installed from the Play Disc. I never understood the uh, order that it does the install in, but, you know, whatever. Uh, please insert CD. CD is inserted. Spinning up. 
Shortly here, Windows will tell me that I've installed the CD. Come on. Please insert a CD label play disc. I did. Did I not? I did not. I installed the cinematics or inserted. I keep saying installed. I inserted the cinematic CD. Whoopsie doodle. Huge disadvantage to flipping discs is sometimes you, you know, get the wrong disc. I wasn't reading the CD. I was paying far more attention to talking. Probably not a wise idea. All right. Spin up. Come on. There it goes. Yay! And now we begin the installation process. Wow. I had forgotten how long it takes to install anything from CDs. Holy crap. But hey, we have Diablo 2 installed, so the Diablo 2 video test. So this is just running a test to determine if you have enough horsepower to run Diablo 2 at its full power. So let's run the test just for shits and giggles. Ping. And it changes my resolution to 640 by 480. Because that's what Diablo 2 runs at. <laughs> Diablo 2 is old enough that 640 by 480 was the resolution of choice. Yeesh. Is that 640 by 480, or is that... What is that, 800 by 600? I think it's the next resolution up. I don't remember. Either way, Windows 10 looks weird in that lower resolution. All right, so it's recommending that I go with the higher quality Direct3D for the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. Yeah, I would assume so. Install DirectX 6.1a or newer. DirectX 7a is included with this CD. <laughs> I have DirectX 12. All right. Uh, so we have the video test completed. We have our settings. Do I like to read the readme? Hell no. Would I like to register? Hell no. Uh, play Diablo 2. Yeah. Let's find out what happens. Please make sure your Diablo 2 play disc is in your CD-ROM drive, then click on retry. Right. Install CD. Never understood why they installed in that order. Uh, let's see. Play CD. Correct one. Play disc. Yes, correct one. Boop. Yeah, I never understood why they installed in that order. One would think you would start with the install CD, then go to the cinematic CD, then go to the play CD in, in that order. That way, when you're done installing, you could just hit play and go. Hmm, whatever. Anyways, retry. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Nada? Ooh, something. Unhandled exception. Access violation. Well, that looks like a memory error to me. And all of my windows just went to my other monitor because that's what Windows does when it doesn't like a resolution. It shoves all the windows out of the way instead of, like, resizing or anything. All right, so in the Diablo 2 install folder, which we put in Program Files x86 and Diablo 2, let's uh, do our standard thing where we find the original EXE, uh, Properties, Compatibility, and we set our compatibility uh, run this program in compatibility mode 4, Windows XP Service Pack 2. Sounds good to me. If I remember correctly, that was the last time I played Diablo 2 was in Windows XP. Maybe I played it in Windows 7. I don't remember. Hmm. I freaking love Diablo 2, though. Uh, all right, so let's just start there and do that. So, boop, boop. Do I? Y yes. And let's see what happens in Windows XP Service Pack 2 mode. Here we go. Get those weird letters up in the upper left. Uh, unhandled exception, access violation. Alrighty then. And the window went away. Because again, that's what Windows does. Uh, compatibility mode again. 
Compatibility, let's see. Uh, what options do we have? Ooh, we have Windows 95, 98. Uh, let's see, 98 is a good one because it actually recommends on the install CD, if I pull that up real quick, uh, Windows 2000, 98, 95, and NT. So 98 compatibility mode should work. Let's try that. Boop. Unable to load function FT thunk. Kernel32.dll. So that's actually even worse. It didn't even try to open. It just failed outright. All right. So XP mode it is. Bloop. Uh, let's try the other settings. Uh, reduce color mode, 16-bit. If I remember correctly, back then when this game was new, 16-bit was the way to go, not the 32-bit that we use now. Uh, 640 by 480 sounds good to me. Disable display scaling on high DPI settings. I don't know what the hell that actually means, but I think that's a thing. Uh, run program as administrator. Nah, let's avoid that for right now. Even though I think, yeah, it's gonna run. Want to run as administrator anyways. Um, nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. It just outright failed. Yeah, it just fails outright and shoves a window over. Hey! Oh, here we go. Okay. CD-ROM drive error. Diablo 2 failed to run. Please make sure your Diablo 2 play disc is in your CD-ROM drive, then click on retry. It is in the drive. See? Play disc. All right, so... uh Unable to load function, FT thunk. All right, so, uh, yeah, no, cancel that. Um, that was wrong, too. All right, to Google. All right, so the first page that comes up on Google is reference to the Lord of Darkness expansion pack. Wait, no, wait, that's not Lord of, oh, that's Lord of Destruction expansion pack. I told you, I've never had the expansion pack. Um, but it does give a valuable piece of advice. This quick how-to assumes that you've already installed and patched the latest version of Diablo 2 LOD on your system. Well, that's something I never did. I never downloaded the latest Blizzard patch, so let's do that. Uh, Diablo 2, if you have installed Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, nope. If you have not installed Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, download and apply the patch listed under Original, Windows. So let's do exactly that. Let's download the uh, latest and greatest expansion and see if that helps. It might. Install, yes. The update has completed successfully. Holy fuck, that was fast. Please press OK to exit. Uh, yes, I would like to submit. No, I would not like to submit my non-personal system specifications to Blizzard Entertainment. Okie dokie. Is my screen coming back? Oh, it tried to open. Unhandled exception. Access violation. All right, so that wasn't a win. Does the page say anything else? Hang on, I got to find the window again because Windows likes making things go away. Uh, boop. What else does it say? Uh, it says, optional run this program as administrator, which... I'm not going to mess with because I don't care. Uh, next step is crucial. If you want to reduce or eliminate all of the glitching and lagging that is known to plague Diablo 2, I'm going to wait. Uh, note, you will also need to apply the compatibility settings to run Diablo 2 video test, but that ran perfectly. All right, so this page isn't giving us our answer. Moving on. Well, here we go. This is, uh, you know, the kind of the way to go. Battle.net, you know, Blizzard's site, might be a perfect place to find information about how to make their old computers run. All right, do Diablo 2 compatibility issues and workarounds. So, Windows, run Diablo 2 in compatibility mode. Right-click Diablo 2, blah, 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 blah. Uh, run this program in compatibility mode. Select Windows XP Service Pack 2. Well, we had to because that's the oldest. Once we go back to 98, we got that thunk error. 
uh, let's see, uh, Windows Vista, Windows 7, make sure that disable desktop composition and run this program as administrator are checked. Okay, so this is insisting that that is checked. So let us do exactly that. Um, why did that say fog? I don't know. Uh, anyways, properties, compatibility, run program as administrator, okie dokie. Uh, run the video test on Diablo 2 install directory, select direct 3D. We already did that. Run Diablo 2 in administrator mode. Uh, that's just probably details. Make sure the game is patched to the latest version. We did that. If the up step or above steps don't work, uh, the only thing we haven't done or we haven't set up is the run as administrator and Windows is being goofy. I'm getting graphical glitches out the wazoo. Um, I really don't think this is going to work because that's the only, I mean, yeah, I didn't think so. It's not an administrator issue. It's something else. Boop. And we'll get back that window. Boop. All right, uh, if the above steps do not work, try running the game in windowed mode. Right click on Diablo 2 icon, click properties, click the shortcut tab, add dash W to the end of the target. For example, C colon backslash Diablo 2 backslash Diablo 2 dot exe dash W. All right. Well, we have an icon on our desktop conveniently. So let's add our boop dash W. Okie dokie. Uh, you need to provide me. Yes. And let's run our Diablo 2. And we get Diablo 2! Yay! Clicky. Uh, single player. I always pick the Barbarian because, well, that's just me. There's a hardcore, hardcore mode? I didn't know there was a hardcore mode. Hm. Anyways. Good Isn't day. there supposed to be a intro video sequence kind of thing? Yeah, whatever. Anyways. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. We have Many voice audio. Have That's awesome. Recent troubles began. But holy crap, this thing's no tiny. You've heard about the tragedy. I, mean, I think that's Bristol. 640 by 480. This is really tiny on a 1440 screen. <laughs> but a uh, quick way to fix that would be to turn down the resolution of my monitor. So instead of running it at 1440, run it at uh, 1920 by 1080. Or uh, if this is 640 by 480, run it at 720p. Uh, so 1280 by 720, 1440 would st or no, 480 would still be windowed mode, but it would be significantly bigger on the screen and easier to see. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up. So we have working Diablo 2, but I can see a small problem with this. And that is that the mouse very easily goes outside the window. So you could be working and then, you know, you could be playing the game and then get into it and then suddenly you're clicking outside the window and nothing happens. Uh, shouldn't be too, too big of a problem. But, yeah. So, we have Diablo 2. We have Diablo 2 working. Uh, how do I get my map up? Oh, tab. This is how I play Diablo 2. I always have the map overlay, so I know where the hell I'm going. Here. Did, did it say something? Hmm. I was talking. I couldn't hear it. Let's take a look at this. Now, this is the first game that I've played that has where dynamic maps. So, it, it procedurally generates the maps. But... I'm fairly sure other games had this first. Like, I think the original Wolfenstein game had it. Oop. <laughs> I was trying to use WASD. WASD doesn't do shit. Um, yeah, I think the first... Uh, yeah, I think the first Wolfenstein had procedurally generated maps. But this was the first game I played with procedurally generated maps. And boy, howdy, did I play the hell out of this game. Never, never, never beat it, though. I got to the uh, second, what would you call that, area, world, whatever, where you're in the desert. I got there, but uh, that's it. Uh, what are you? You are refilling shrine. I don't have anything that I need refilling. But, yeah, we have Diablo 2. It works. 
It's a little hard to see at the moment. <laughs> But all I have to do to fix that is to change the resolution on my monitor, and that would work fine. So, yes, we have Diablo 2 working on Windows 10. And, again, we have a success. There are so few of those in Windows 10 that it's actually kind of disappointing. Mm. But, yes, we do have a success in Windows 10, and I'm quite happy for that. And I will see you guys in the next episode. If you have any suggestions for games that you would like to see, maybe something that you really want to play but could never get to work, maybe, maybe, maybe I can figure out a possibility. Uh, just throw up a suggestion, let me know, and I will let you guys know. So, again, see you in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. Hey, I got a key. I got another key.